Now this is pod racing. <laughs> and you can run? Oh my god! Good God, Devotee Scarlet! Jesus! Popping in, been busy. Well, welcome. Uh, we're at 900,000, basically, uh, um, basically a million soul memory. Where's it at? Hello! Slide a four! Thinking about healing, Slagathor? You better not be thinking about healing. You better not be thinking about it. Oh, Slagathor swapped. Slagathor swapped weapons up on me. Oh, Slagathor, you. Slagathor! This was. This was not honor. Slagathor pays the price! Chuggers pay the price! No, no, no. Slagathors pay the price. And the price and the payment. How did he recover before I did? Oh, damn it. Some of the price has been paid, but not all of them. Oh, the price was paid! They paid me the price! They paid me the price! I took it out of their ass! Oh, oh baby, these co-opers might pay the price one more again. Oh, one of them's one of them's paying the price, baby. I can't block the goddamn katana. No, I'm not cutting the power. Why? Cause, baby, I, these guys. Mm. Price. Paid. Admission. This guy. Pay it. Pay that price. To me. Because I'm the one who takes the payment. Where's this freeloader at? He's he's been he's been getting the free lunch for too long. And now it's time for him to no longer receive government benefits, but instead to pay the price.
What'd you say, babe? I don't know, babe. I'm, I'm hungry, though. Oh, shoot. I swear to god, I'm blocking. I forget that there's like a buffer time between blocks in this game. Oh no! I paid the price! It was, it was the max death price. This is my water. You stay out. People who want to drink my water pay the price to me. So after feeling pretty burnt out on uh, Dark Souls 3 and um, the game basically slowing to a crawl between Monster Hunter World I guess stealing people away and just the, the game's age as well as the Return to Drang Lake event. Um, but yeah, mostly my uh, just being burnt out on Dark Souls 3 for a minute. Um, I decided to return to Dark Souls 2. Um, right here I'm using the Lois Greatsword, which is an awesome greatsword for any dex build. This thing is, is awesome. It moves like a straight sword, doesn't do a lot of damage, uh, but it has an excellent moveset. Good range, um, and you know, some, uh, some hyper armor, poise, whatever, however it works in this game. Um, I always have a blast anytime I return to the Dark Souls 2 arena. Uh, it's You can't take it seriously because the way the matchmaking works in the Dark Souls 2 arena is just absolute nonsense. And after, you know, uh, five minutes, five minutes, after like five or ten seconds searching for a match, the game just gives up. And instead of basing it off of your soul level, yes, the arena bases your matchups on your soul level, or at least it tries to. After that, it just gives up and it'll match you with whoever. Um, so a lot of times you'll find yourself fighting people with a zillion fucking hit points. Um, and just not much you can do about it. That's just the game. So you can't really take it seriously, but it is a lot of fun. I've, I've always liked the arena in Dark Souls 2, even when I wasn't even like remotely good at it. Uh, I still had fun with it. Um, but this build is just a standard dex build. I think it ended up with probably like 18 strength um, and 35 dexterity, uh, 35 vigor. I, the, the build was at the beginning. The important bit is that this is not. This is basically a full physical build, which means you have to go Ring of Blades plus Flynn Ring. Um, so. That's how we get all of our damage. Ring of Blades plus two from the two pursuers, and um, Flynn Ring, which is now found in Shulva as of Scholar the First Sound. Uh, you can see me going for super parries here. If any of you guys know what super parries are, um, for those of you who don't, basically, when you two-hand a weapon, pressing the parry button allows you to perform a parry. Now. With a straight sword or a katana, it's a fist parry. But with a great sword or something you know big like that, it's it's called a super parry because you actually parry with the weapon instead of your fist. And it's just so much fun to land. Uh, and I was obsessed. I was like, I'm gonna land one. Damn it. But I have had an absolute blast doing Return to Drink Lake. Now, of course, the best invasions for me are always the ones where you run into co-opers. Those are always the most fun. As you can tell from the, the commentary um, <laughs> and the very ironic use of the Gankers Pay the Price meme. But um, even with Return to Drang Lake, it, that was still pretty few and far between. A lot of people bitch about soul memory. Um, let me add this I stayed at 500,000 soul memory, 
on purpose and I was pretty limited in my invasions. I artificially inflated my soul memory to 1 million and all of a sudden I had a lot more fun, a lot more invasions in a lot more different areas uh, with a lot more different people. Um, I, everybody of course recommends that you put some kind of healing spell or warmth on your build for invaders since they can't heal. But in my opinion, it's unnecessary. I, I'm just in it for fun fights. I'm not trying to like, you know, win the 2016 EVO Championship again. I've already won it, you know, so. Uh, and this is actually the play that won it for me. This is my super parry that you're about to see here. Oh, it's sexy. Super parry. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this. I'll probably continue doing some Dark Souls 2 content. Uh, so hope you like it. If not, well, fuck off. We'll be doing some Bloodborne next. Later, y'all.